Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels and welcome back to another episode on the Wirecraft Season 2 server. So in our last episode, we went ahead and started working on the outside of this, uh, this base that we're working on here. So if we just kind of come out here and take a look, we went ahead and we put in all these nice fancy new walls. Um, and the episode before that, we worked on the foundations of this place, putting in, you know, all that design down there. Uh, I have a lot more work that I want to do on this place, but two episodes in a row of base building is, is enough for me. I need to switch it up and do something else a little bit different. Um, but before I get into what I'm going to do, I just want to show you a couple of changes that I've done here. So I originally talked about wanting to make this a stairway to go up, um, but I decided it wasn't really the best place to do it. So instead, I decided to make this be my way down into the basement. So I have a way to get down here uh, in and out real easy. I don't know if I'll ever really truly decorate this area, but I just wanted access to be able to come down here uh, because I felt like it was needed. I don't know if this area is safe, so let's go ahead and throw down some torches because I don't know if I really have it blocked off properly for, for spawns. Uh, now, there's not really too much else in here that I changed. I did um, this last episode, but I don't think I actually included it where I decided that this was going to be the stairway going up. Uh, to the second floor here and I gotta actually figure out what I want to do uh, on the second floor how I want to do this design and you can see something else that I worked on in between episodes so let's fly over there real quick it'll be easier to show it off uh, I started kind of messing around with the roof design a little bit so I think I might do something like that uh, for, for a roof design and then this could be like a little outlook point or something not entirely sure how I want this to go but I think I need to actually raise this up a little bit. So I might have a, um, I don't know what the actual term is for it, but I might just have like another little layer here. Um, that's not really going to be a room or a floor or anything, but this will actually, instead of this being the next floor, the next floor would actually be starting up here. So I got to raise that up and then think of a design to fill in the space on the outside. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I've done out here, and I left some supplies up here that I should probably pick up and take with me. So I got that. Um, but yeah, this is the design that I think I'll be going with using spruce wood and dark oak. So I gotta mine up a lot of... not mine up. Why do I always say mine? I gotta chop down a lot of dark oak wood to be able to do this. Uh, thankfully, I'm only using it for the trim. Then I gotta think about how I'm gonna handle spots like that where the, uh, the trim kind of comes in and uh, uh, connects into the sides. I don't think that's gonna be the best way to do some of these things. Um, I don't think I've changed anything else in between episodes. I'm just taking a look around to make sure. No, I, everything else seems pretty standard, pretty much the same here. Uh, and then, you know, just, just the view from the inside of the stairwell up. So I really think it's gonna be nice having the stairwell going up and down. And I guess I can get rid of this access point now because I don't need it to come in and out. Um, so we can finally plug up and close this hole right here. Feel, feels kind of weird doing that. You know, it's been there for, for so long, but all good things must come to an end. And that is the end of that. So what are we going to do in today's episode? Uh, well, Let's fly off into the distance and I will show you in this direction. So I have this island over here that I've had for a while and have I ever checked this out? I don't remember looking at this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've been here. I've explored this most likely. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there is this island. Hello, Drown. We're not here to fight you today. Sorry, I instructed your home. Uh, this island over here that I want to work on and what I want to do here can I fly? There we go. Is mine at least one chunk of this down to bedrock? And I should probably start putting up some torches here so I don't have to deal with some nasties as I'm trying to do some work here. But let's just go ahead and jump. So this is a decently sized island. I think it's roughly uh, a shape of 40 by 40, something like that. So it's, uh, it's a good size to do something in and work on. And I think this would be a good spot to kind of put in some, uh, some farms. So I want to do, uh, you know, the normal villager crop farms, like, you know, wheat, carrot, potatoes, um, 
do that in this area. And I think this is also a good place to put a villager breeder. So I can do that all basically within one chunk out of this uh, this area. But maybe, um, maybe I shouldn't be here right now because it's nighttime and it's kind of dangerous. But that's what we're going to work on over here. And I need to go ahead and set up a beacon over here because uh, my intention is to mine it all the way down to bedrock for one, that one chunk. And at the very bottom, I think I want to also put in a creeper farm. Uh, so it'll be interesting kind of combining all that together in one spot. Because the creeper farm also takes up roughly one chunk as well. So let me go ahead, get it into uh, daytime. And then uh, we'll, I'll probably also light up this island a little bit more. And then I'll uh, come back and we'll start mining down to bedrock, which will take forever. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I got the island all lit up now. I threw down a beacon to help me out with my mining um, and I got my chunk picked out. So there there were two chunks I could use. There was another chunk off in this area. I didn't like how close it came out to the ocean, though. Uh, it ended somewhere around this area. If I throw on my chunk borders, yeah, it came out to here, which for me was just a little too close to the water. So I ended up going with this chunk over here that I have marked off with these four gold blocks. There's one, two, three, and four. And I picked this chunk because it was nice and like in the middle of the island. Like it's, it's the closest I can get to the center. Um, and it wasn't too close to the ocean. I didn't want to have to worry about getting, uh, 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 getting down and mining too close and having some sand cave in and water come in and everything like that. I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So uh, that's why I picked this center chunk over here. And it looks like we might actually have a slightly easier time or it might be a slightly harder time uh, as we go ahead and start mining out these chunks because, or at least that one chunk. So we have a big ravine running under here. So I'm not sure how close this ravine comes to where we're gonna be mining, but that is definitely something to think about and to be mindful of as we're doing this. So. Now that I got everything all figured out and situated, it's time for me to go ahead and start mining this down. And I think I'm going to do this in the form of a third person time lapse. Uh, but first, we got to clear out these trees so I can do that all as part of the uh, time lapse, I guess. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Welcome back. Um, that was a lot of fun doing that that dig here. Uh, but let's be honest, it wasn't a lot of fun, but it was enjoyable because we had Ruler to help us out. He was kind enough to uh, hop onto the server and help me take care of this big dig. Now I just kind of want to fill some of these spots in, but I don't have any of those resources down here with me. Uh, basically, what was just going on is there was a, and I may include some clips because I was recording it. I tried doing this clip before, but there was a bit of a skeleton spider creeper zombie fight down here. They were trying to get to me and they kept uh, the skeletons kept accidentally shooting the other mobs and then they all got mad at each other and blew each other up. So that was going on down here. 
So what are we going to be doing with this? Um, I don't remember if I said this in a previous clip or not, but my intention for this chunk is to do a bunch of farms. And starting down here at the bottom, I want to do a creeper farm. And then above that, I want to do some of the other, you know, typical farms such as carrots, potatoes, wheat. Uh, I can do melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane can also be done over here. And I think that might be it. I don't know, I'll have to think about some other farms or things that I can do in this area. What's also nice is if I take off and fly up over here, we came across a dungeon wall uh, 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 mining this hole out and you know we have a, a skeleton dungeon right here which is really nice because now I can AFK while this is going on and also get a uh, string as well. And then at the very top, somewhere up here, because this last farm does require uh, sky access, I want to do a villager breeder um, and do one of those nice infinite ones where they take the items from the farm down below, the uh, the carrots, wheat, potato, etc. And it filters up up here and they pull it off, uh, pull it out whenever they're hungry. Uh, so you can just AFK and have that happen. And then I guess I'll have some sort of system to filter those guys out and take the ones that I want and... Uh, be able to transport them through the nether over to my base right over over there so I can put them into the slots that we made for uh, the other villagers. We need to start filling those up as well. But what am I going to do first? I think the first thing to work on is actually going to be the creeper farm because the lower in the world it is, the better it's going to be for spawns and rates. And that's going to be very important, especially if I'm going to be building other farms on top of it which means the rates may uh, reduce a little bit and may suffer some, but you know, that's okay. It'll be my own personal private creeper farm. Um, and maybe I can also turn that into a, uh, a record farm. That'll be, be fun to have. I've never done that before. Uh, and let's see, there was something else I was going to say and I can't remember what it was going to be now. I don't know, but those are the things that I'll work on and take care of and Oh yeah, I've also went ahead and lit up all the caves. I think I've hit all the caves in the uh, 128 block radius in all directions, so that should be fine. Um, Ruler also helped me out with that. So again, big thanks to Ruler for uh, for that stuff. So let me do a little bit more resource collecting because I got to get everything I need for the farm. Specifically, I need to go and get some cats. That's that's always fun and, and challenging is getting the cat. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the cats and uh, you can see me struggle on doing that. This is an interesting development. I was heading to Rosso's base because Rosso lives in the, the jungle. And I guess a cat came through his portal at some point and is now in the nether. And I need a cat. Oh, it's, it's running away. Don't, don't run away, cat. Come back here, gato. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Turn around and look at the bow tie. Come get the fish. This would be the worst time for a gas to come. Oh, come on. Come on. You're so close. You're so close. I'm coming up nice and slow. Yes. Yes. Good cat. I'm nice and slow. I don't want to scare you. And fish for you. Fish. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I got one of the... Well, I don't know what kind of cat that is, but it's it's one of them. Tuxedo cat, is that what they call it? Okay, you stay there. I'm going to come back with a friend. Of course, of course. I got a gas firing at me now that nearly killed, killed my cats. And I went ahead and I bred them. And so now I have three cats. Let's see. Is this the one that, that was attacking me? I don't know. I just heard the gas and I ran. I'm like, I am not going to get my cats killed that I worked so hard for. All right, so that's that's a dead one. Are there any more? There's another one somewhere. There it is. Oh god, I almost hit the pigman. That would have been bad. 
Just, just, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think it's safe. Go. Get through to the other side. I really hate working with animals in Minecraft sometimes. Get through, get all the way over there, down. Sit down. One, two, three, and four. I got all my cats. I am putting a gate around this thing so they cannot get back in and travel back through. All right, so now that we got our cats, I came down here and I started doing a little bit more cleaning up and getting the area prepared. So the design that I'm following is by Logical Geek Boy, and it is a 19 by 19 area that you need for the farm. So the chunk is only 16 by 16, so I had to clear out a little bit more space. I took you know, one away from these two sides and then I took two away from these two sides. So that gives you uh, an extra three blocks to make it 19 from 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building that up here. Okay. Um, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. So when I planned out this farm, I did my research for everything. Uh, I, I knew the farm was a square, or at least I thought it was a square because these platforms are supposed to be 13 by 13. Um, I didn't account for how these corner pieces would fit in here. So going across this way, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's fine. But going across this way, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so this side is too short, even though the rest of this really looks like it is built okay. So what I messed up is that the farm is, yes, 19 in this direction, but it's actually 21 in that direction. So I need to move part of this farm out a bit more. Guys, I'm terrible at counting. I, I may have been right the first time. Um, yeah. All right, so we got um, the corners all figured out. Now I had to basically adjust all four of the corners, but we're, we're okay. Everything is all figured out. I made all the corrections I needed for my mistakes, and I'm good to actually start building up the floors now. Now, the first thing I want to do is get a cat safely down here uh, from all the way up there. And I think what I can do is if I just get up there quickly, let's wake up this cat. And I think if I fly away quickly enough and come back in and just get down here, before anything could happen. Oh God, I did not light up down there. That was a bad idea. I'm glad I got that on camera. Let's see if I can knock out some of these mobs from up here, specifically the creepers. And then we'll go back down and try this out again. Where's that cat? So we got the cat here. So what I think will work is if I just fly quickly and, good thing I didn't like ender pearl down before. If I get down here quickly enough, I think the cat will just teleport down. There we go, see? Check that out, nice and easy and simple. And I can just tell the cat to sit. So there, we got the cat exactly where we need it to be. We got a spider climbing up the wall that I'm gonna take care of. And fantastic, so this is essentially the first layer of the farm done. So what we gotta do now is just get the walls built up and I gotta make this, uh, I think another two times is what I'm gonna go for. So this will be a total of three layers for this farm. And I also gotta get the carpet laid down for uh, the appropriate pattern here. Now that I don't remember offhand, I'm gonna have to go and look that up. But uh, let me go ahead and start working on that and I'll catch up with you in just a second. Okay, so that is the first layer of this farm officially complete. I don't know if it's dark enough in here yet to start getting any spawns. Let's just check real quick. Uh, what's the light level here? Yeah, there, there's enough in the center area to, uh, to generate some spawns for creepers. And of course, I start recording and as always, my dogs decide to start making some noise. Um, now I need to get out of here. Let's uh, break 
this block. I think that'll be the safest way out and we can knock those down and hop up here. And now I'm ready to start working on the next two layers. Okay, so we are just about done here. I had to resort to some drastic measures here because I didn't plan out having enough wood, so now I am um, using iron trap doors to finish off this farm. So it's getting to be a little bit expensive, but that's okay. I don't want to have to go um, up to the surface and then come back down and try and do this because once we get far enough away from the farm at this point, it's going to be producing creepers. And there's actually one part point where I heard uh, some creepers in here. So this is the last bit and I'm going to come ahead and sneak out. I think I don't know how I'm going to sneak out. Let's do this. We'll break these. Um, just place some cobble right there. Place down the carpet. Put down another piece of cobble in the wrong spot, but whatever, it's fine. And that should be the farm complete. Now, if I fall down here and not break my legs, we should see some gunpowder already coming in. Uh, if I check out right here. So yes, we did get one creeper. Okay, it looks like I have this all fixed now. I'm gonna double check my light levels. I have this handy little resource pack that I can flip this on and check my light levels. Everything looks good. Anything that's red is a spawnable space, or at least a space where the light level is kind of low. Um, but mobs can't spawn on bedrock and the rest of the area is covered in glass. So we are okay. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. We're good to go. Let's clean up our mess here. Put these away and we're gonna fly back up to the top. And then I'm gonna get my camera account on and see if we're being successful or not. Um, Where's a nice safe spot to go? I think, I think flying right in here and hanging out in this spot will be safe. Okay, here we go. So I don't know why the lighting looks a little bit weird in here, but it, it should be perfectly fine. Um, it's just glowing floors. That's just a lighting glitch. But as you can hear, there are a ton of creepers and somehow this guy got over to here, which I'm not entirely sure how he managed to do that. That's interesting. But as you can hear, it sounds like this is working out pretty well. So we have a creeper in there. We got a few hanging out in here. Let's go ahead and check this side. We got another creeper in there. And over here, we don't have anyone at the moment. I think I have to actually fix that corner uh, because this is something that I missed during the creeper blast that happened over here. So I got that all taken care of as well. Let's go ahead and check another layer of the farm. So that's working out great. They see the cat and then they're running off into the corners. For some reason, this guy seems to be stuck. Okay. He saw him and he's off. That's good. Let's go up another level. Um, I'm not seeing any creepers here. Oh, there we go. We got one. I'm wondering if... Uh, no, I shouldn't be. There I am up there. You can see my name tag in the distance. Um, not really getting any spawns up here. That's interesting. So I might need to go a little bit further away. And yeah, we still got that hole down there. We got to plug up. But this is working out pretty well. If we come down here now and let's check out the output chest. Uh, well, I don't have a chest, just the hopper at the moment. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This has literally been like maybe a minute. Um, I don't think I need to put any more levels on this thing. I just need to go patch up that hole and I think this is good as done. All right, let's go ahead and fix that up. And uh, we got to add in a chest as well as a better way to get the items back up to the top. Welcome back, guys. This is a couple days later. Uh, I've actually finished recording the episode, went back, started listening and editing to it, and I had a bunch of audio problems. So the audio might be a little up and down and all over the place, and for some reason it was out of sync. But I got all that fixed, and rather than uh, continue with the audio that I had, I decided to re-record the ending because, frankly, the ending that I had originally was terrible, and this is a lot better, hopefully. So I uh, spent some time working on the item collection, we got that here. I also... Uh, 
afk a bit to, well, not necessarily afk I continued working on this. Uh, as you can see, I cleaned up all the sides of the walls. Uh, while this gunpowder started coming in, I think some just flew by there right now. Uh, we'll probably get another one. Yeah, there's a few more. Um, it's working out pretty well, as you can see. So let's go down here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, do I have any more rockets? I can grab them down there if I need more rockets. So we'll slowly fall down here and not kill ourselves, um, hopefully. And we'll come down here. You can hear the creepers coming in. Fantastic. You can see this is our uh, method for getting the items into the water stream. So they all come in through the hoppers into this dropper. We have a comparator over here taking an output from it. Uh, the comparator will power this piston, pushes up the observer. So it faces into this observer, creating an observer clock that continuously fires off this dropper until all the items are out and then it stops as you can see. So shoots up this water elevator, which you have probably seen a bunch of times and now I'm having this problem again where my wings don't want to work. There we go, got the wings to work now. All right, so it shoots up this bubble column, comes up to this point here um, as we saw before, they'll shoot up across this water stream into this hopper. We should be getting something in just a second now that we're up here and the mobs are able to spawn. Um, there we go. And it comes down through this hopper chain and we'll slowly fill up all of these chests. And by slowly, I mean not very slowly at all. So we got one full chest, we got one full hopper, and we're a little more than a third of the way through the next chest. And this really has not been too much time waiting for this thing to fill up. So this is like maybe 40 minutes to an hour worth of, of gunpowder. So this thing is working out really well. So I am happy with this. I am very glad that everything is going the way I wanted to for this. And it turned out even better than I expected. So if you've enjoyed the episode, please, Leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Sh should, I, should I try doing the elytra takeoff? If I fail, I'm going to fall right down here probably to my death. Let, let, let's try it. So, until next time, guys, this has been Bowtie. Peace out. Oh, God. Don't die. Um, F5 is not the right way of doing this. Half a heart. Okay. I survived. I lived. Peace out.